This isn't a real gun. It's a prop. I hope that's in focus because I'm not doing that again. So, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. To the point where... I can't think straight. So I'm gonna show you how to make some spag. I am on a diet and I wanna cut down on carbs, but I also don't wanna cut down on the spag. And that means I can have very little, so I'm going to make it anyway. Now, I know that a lot of people, they will use something like cauliflower to make some kind of a horrible substitute. I don't mind cauliflower and I use it, but what I do is I just shove it in the spaghetti and eat it first and then eat the spaghetti. Let's do that. I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I have to pee a little, so it's the perfect time to make a video. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to get a single walnut so that I don't die. I heard that walnuts curb your appetite. I think they mean walnuts with, a, with an S, walnuts plural, and I am not willing to do that. So I'm just going to get what will equal to probably about half a walnut and just assume that it'll get me through. Okay, what do I need? My roommate landlord is out, so it's the perfect time to wreck his kitchen. It's a gorgeous kitchen because it's not mine. The first thing we're going to do is... I've already forgotten. The walnut did nothing. We are going to put cauliflower on the counter. Yeah. I still have an unholy amount of a massive cauliflower that was massive. It was also organic and usually organic things are about a third the size of normal things and twice the price. This is the comparisons from unholy large organic cauliflower after I've used it about three times. So this is only about a third of it and normal cauliflower that's organic. It is There's no going back now. There's a bunch of crap on it. This is a lie. This isn't the first thing I have to do. The first thing I have to do is Aha! So what you're gonna wanna do when you're making spaghetti is find a pot that's a little bit smaller than the spaghetti because you can't have spaghetti without frustration first. It just makes the spaghetti taste better. And before people start telling me to break the spaghetti in half, go to hell. Kidding. But I would never do that. What's the point of spaghetti if you can't twirl it? You just get these little half gremlin things that fall off. Half of spaghetti is the twirl. The other half is carbs, and the third half is happiness. Always salt your water because everyone likes salty things, but you don't expect there to be salt in spaghetti, and you don't count that when you add it into My Fitness Pal, so it looks like you're eating less sodium than you are, and it's great. We're just going to let that boil. We'll wash our cauliflower. I've washed it several times already because as I said, I've used this several times already. It's gently used cauliflower. I'm not so sure about it, it might be bad, but we're just gonna give it a shot because why not? It's hard to believe that cauliflower goes bad because it looks like it's already died. We're just gonna assume it never dies like honey. To make your slightly healthy meal, you're first gonna drop it on the floor for all that protein. I forgot I'm slightly allergic to nuts, and every once in a while it acts up. Like every time I eat a nut. So, I'm just gonna ignore that. What you wanna do is cut your cauliflower into smaller pieces. And then cut them into smaller pieces. I'm desperately trying to get through this cauliflower because I... It just never ends. There, and we still have another serving. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is do the shame dig in the trash because you thought that you could use all that cauliflower. You're gonna wipe some of those coffee grounds off. 
put it right back with your perishable food. Get an even tinier pot. You're gonna steam that shit up. You want maximum overdrive from this cauliflower and put this on for eight minutes. Now the clock is ticking. This is my favorite part. It means I'm only about eight minutes away from eating. Now we're gonna measure out our spaghetti. The thing with a diet is that you get just enough spaghetti to make you want more spaghetti. And then you can have more the next day. So let's talk about this scale. This scale was my friend. Was. I always measured my spaghetti on it and I gave myself 85 grams as per the box. I thought that I was eating 300 calories worth of spaghetti and I was amazed because... And I was amazed because... I was amazed because... Because... I was amazed at much, I was amazed at how much spaghetti I got on my plate and how full I felt after eating that spaghetti because it was only 300 calories. The problem was this scale is at least one third wrong. When it measured out 85 grams, it was actually measuring out like 110 grams. I don't know why because it's consistently wrong. So then I had to do math outside of high school and I had to figure out how much actually was 85 grams. It turned out to be 58. 58 grams equaled 85 grams. So now I do 60 just to buck the system. And I was always wondering why everything else was wrong. And I had this picture that I took of something that would the box weight was different from the scale weight and I was all set and ready to like email the company saying like, the deception! I was the one being decepted. There's exactly 58 grams of spaghetti left in this box. It's not letting me buck the system. How dare- So, there's four minutes left. Oh, I still have a lot to do. I still have to grate the cheese and everything. I'm really behind today. I'm a real simple simpleton. And there's a bunch of dishes in the sink. Fabulous! How dare my landlord not clean his own dishes so that I could use his kitchen. Oh, this is my dish. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is grow up in a family that lived off of spaghetti and have a father that keeps his house in constant supply of homemade spaghetti sauce who will give you a jar every time you go home for a visit. And the next thing is have Costco so that you can buy a gigantic chunk of Parmesan for $16. No, what are we doing? Oh, I can't think straight. Oh, I'm too hungry. I'm getting distracted by the big I'm just opening and closing cupboards. I need to grate cheese. Oh, wait. The cheese is grater is over here. Aha! Progress. Believe it or not, I have made this many, many times. It's just usually I'm not this incredibly hungry. I use about three quarters of a cup of sauce. <laughs> when I lived at home, I would always... My brother made it his life's goal, I guess, to close the milk jugs as hard as he possibly could. He worked out, so he was really strong, but I could never open up the milk thing. He just thought that it was completely necessary to guard the milk like that. There. Oh. Three quarters of a cup of sauce, and I get four tablespoons of grated Parmesan. It's so wet. Oh, crap. try several cauliflower to convince yourself that it's done because I guess every cauliflower cooks differently and has their own personality. Now I'm do Ow. What I do is I add the sauce to the cauliflower so that it warms up. Ow. And you put that on lowish. Also known as medium. Now it's time for baguette. We're gonna move it back to its original home and burning your fingers on the way. And that guy off, then this guy on, believe it or not. Now I never really know because people will fight to the death over whether or not to add olive oil to the water or olive oil to the spaghetti afterward. So I had it before. We're just gonna boop some in there. The thing about this is this is also a hidden treat because 
you don't expect the water to have any calories, so you don't add it to your MyFitnessPal. And it seems like you're having less fat than you are. Now, we're gonna, oh God. We're going to force it into the pot like trying to force a snowsuit onto a child. Like trying to force cauliflower in the crisper drawer. Why aren't the crisper drawers stretchy? Now we're going to set that timer for seven whole minutes and let that boogle until it's delish. Oh, no! It should have been on low, not low-ish. We've learned our lesson. Now it's time for the greatest part. Best thing about these Costco blocks is the price. I feel like I'm trying to grate a brick. I feel like I'm trying to grate a Timberland boot. That looks about not right. The good thing about grated cheese is you can jam a lot in and still think that it's a tablespoon. See, like things are falling out, but the middle of my finger is going under the rim, so let's just assume that's a tablespoon. Also, we can think that, oh, if this were drier, it would have filled less space. So we can go a little bit over because some of it's water weight. That looks like a tablespoon to me. Like a tablespoon to... Now the last one is the most important one because if it doesn't fit, then you can't really put this to waste because as we both know, this costs $16 at Costco, so you're just gonna have to use it. But the good thing about that is that you don't count that when you put it into my fitness pal. I haven't stirred this in a good old god dang time, so let's do that right now. I saw some of these stuck together. I didn't even think that happened with non-flat spaghetti. We're just gonna assume that it'll be fine. One of my favorite activities is lying to myself. The thing I learned late in life is that you should clean as you go. That applies to both cooking and going to the bathroom. Oh God, it's so moist. Why is it doing this? I think that's called sweating, which is one of the worst ways to describe it. But really, is there any good way to describe something that's moist? Now, I am one of those people that can't eat without drinking. And by drinking, I mean water. I don't know what it is. I get made fun of for needing to drink a astronomical amount of water with my food. But if I don't, then I'll get it stuck in my throat. So it's a lose-lose situation. But really winning because I'm eating spaghetti. Everything is not done. Colander. Colander sounds like a good name. Hello, my name is Rich Colander. He is a holy man. And there we are. Spag and cauliflower, the way nature intended. This is a lie. Spaghetti was meant to be eaten in gigantic mountains with nothing to sully it but sauce and cheese. But you know what? I'm just going to try to forget that. All right, that's about it. I'm going to eat my spag. Ow!